Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Sri Lanka. It is a Tuesday, folks, the 20th of November. Welcome to the program. And I uh, would we'll like to uh, just give you a, a bird's eye view of what's happening uh, today, Tuesday. If you've always been wanting to make that change, more than just Michael Jackson's Man, man in the Mirror, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Well, today is the day for you because we have uh, with us inside the uh, studio, someone's going to tell us about... Uh, you know what? How, how we can consider a lifestyle change to become healthier and more productive as citizens and and people. So, but before we get to that, some very interesting stories that I would like to share with you. Believe it or not, city officials in this in in San Francisco has voted on an ordinance banning nudity in most public places. You think that nudity is is outlawed, right? But apparently not in San Francisco, and they may be getting ready to shed its image as a city where anything goes, including clothing. City lawmakers are scheduled to vote uh, today, Tuesday, uh, on an ordinance that would prohibit nudity in most public places, a blanket ban that represents an escalation of a two-year tiff between a devoted group of men who struck their stuff through the city's famous Castro district and the supervisor who represents the area. A first offense would carry a maximum penalty of $100 fine, but prosecutors would have authority to charge a third violation as a misdemeanor punishable by up to $500 fine and a year in jail. Very interesting. Never thought that it was not outlawed in San Francisco. Now, if you haven't heard it, the American Music Awards uh, were handed out in uh, in the in Los Angeles, if I'm not mistaken, over the weekend. It was uh, mo Monday morning already in Sri Lanka when it was uh, handed out. It was at Nokia Theater in Los Angeles. And the biggest winner of the night, none other than the Beepster, Justin Bieber, yes, who picked up Artist of the Year, favorite pop rock male artist, and favorite pop rock album, believe it or not, and his date evening was his mom, pa uh, Patty Mallet, who, uh, who was there, who, who, who came up uh, on stage with him for the final award. The reason, because if you haven't heard it, also Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez have reportedly broken up. Now, a quick look at uh, the winners at the American Music Awards for the R the Soul R&B category for the album of the year. It was uh, Rihanna with her album Talk the Talk. Uh, for Best Al Favorite Alternative Artist, it was Linkin Park. For Best Adult Contemporary Artist, it was Adele. And uh, let's go to uh, their rap hip hop album. It was Nicki Minaj's uh, Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, that won the award for uh, best rap hip hop artist. Nicki Minaj, double uh, double win there for favorite pop rock album. Like what I mentioned, it was Justin Bieber's Believe for favorite favorite pop rock band or duo or group. It was Maroon Five winning that one for pop rock female artist. Katy Perry. Pop rock male artist, it was uh, Justin Bieber once again. And for, check this out, new artist of the year, officially making her not a, a no longer a one-hit wonder, Carly Rae Jepsen of Call Me Maybe. And the artist of the year, Justin Bieber. Also, an interesting note uh, about the American Music Awards, it all completely went paperless when all the, uh, the winners were announced using a tablet which I will not uh, mention. Yes, everyone was uh, was handed out a tablet where they had where they read all the nominees including the winner. So it was a very interesting uh, weekend in uh, in the US with the uh, the uh, ordinance to to ban uh, public uh, nudity and then uh, American Music Awards. So here we go. I mentioned about it earlier the kickstart of, of the show, lifestyle change if you haven't noticed there's a uh, there's now a growing uh, section of our society where they encourage you to go to buy uh, to go to work in a bicycle. Uh, I think if, if I'm saying it is every Friday. Um, there are now uh, weekly uh, jog, uh, jogs around the uh, Independence Square. Uh, I know for a fact that in Batramula there are three major places now where you can go for a run early in the morning, even late in the evening. It's nicely lit, and and there and and there. Are Ample parking. There's even a, there's even a food place quite close by to one of uh, the uh, the uh, running trails uh, in in Batramol surrounding the Parliament area. So everyone seems to be getting into this uh, healthy lifestyle, which is which is of course well, very much welcome. And uh, most recently, a special. Uh, Fest was held, and it's called Health Fest, and uh, we're very privileged to have with us inside the studio um, a lady who's a public health specialist, especially when it comes to non-communicable diseases. We have with us, of course, also uh, talking about uh, Health Fest, we have Dr. Susie Pear. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, it was, if I'm mistaken, Saturday was a big day for uh, for Health Fest. If you don't mind, just uh, refreshing our viewers what happened as to the, uh, the weekend. Yeah, it was okay. certainly... Uh, 
very mm. big day mm. for for all of us mm. and for the College of Community Physicians mm. of Sri Lanka, mm. where we organized uh, the Health Fest. Mm. It's about lifestyle change mm. and uh, we decided on this because mm. we realized that it's not only about you know talking about mm. the change, it's not only about giving awareness, mm. it's important, mm. right? But we need to empower mm. the people so that uh, they make their decisions mm. wisely. Mm. So it's about empowering to make healthier mm. choices. Mm. But then, mm. do people actually have uh, the environment mm. or the choices to make mm. uh, in a healthier way. Mm. So then we, we actually thought that we need to have the options mm. also, right? So that means uh, advocating to the industries, mm. the catering industries, the beverage mm. sector. And also it means about uh, leadership uh, change mm. to, uh, to create the right environments. You mentioned about independent square mm. and places like that. Mm. So there needs to be more places for mm. people to actually indulge in mm. uh, you know, a different kind of mm. lifestyle. Mm. So it's, it's really about that, mm. creating a demand mm. for something that is healthier, mm. but also trying to look at the supply side. Mm. Right. How, so how was how was the reception that the the health fest received um, over the weekend regarding lifestyle change, considering you know, things that need to be done, things that need to be changed, even on a, on a gradual level. How was it received? By well, uh, well, if you if you mm. asking me mm. about the health mm. fest, we had I think more than four thousand people mm. at the Vihara mm. Mahadevi Park, mm. and um, and we started at eight o'clock mm. and it went on past six o'clock mm. in the evening. Mm. It started off with a triathlon, which was organised by the youth section wow. of the yeah. of the health fest, mm. and that was the interactors and mm. the road track clubs of uh, Colombo, okay. and um, so the triathlon. I mean, it's cycling, swimming, swimming and. and and running. Uh, running, right? It's so it is the toughest, if not one of the toughest tests of endurance and, and speed and agility yes. for a person. Yeah. yeah. So that was interesting. Mm. That was a start, but then of course we had several activities. Mm and uh, in different places in the Vihara Mahadevi mm. Park from a preschool activity area mm. which had so many different components mm. which were mm. you know stressing on the early uh, mm. you know need for lifestyle changes and uh, how the parents should be involved mm. so there was a little bit on education you know you can't keep mm. kids for a long time but then you know the, mm. the preschool teachers were uh, trained mm. and you know they took the lead for that mm. so that that's what participation is mm. all about and then, of course, there was uh, an uh, opportunity for them to express themselves mm. in the form of art. Okay. Right? And then um, we had uh, a, a supermarket on board with us. Mm. I will mention about mm. that. Maybe you mm. would like to ask me about that. Mm. And they supplied the fruits because oh, okay. most of the children actually, you know, when it comes to fruits, they don't uh, experience a lot of the local fruits. Mm. Right? So that was interesting. Mm. We, ha we gave a plate of fruit for every child mm. who came and that was stressing the importance of mm. how important it is to have fruit mm. and then of course there were so many different activities in terms of uh, physical mm. activity you know not the not the usual things that are there at Vihara mm. Mahadevi but innovative and old traditional kind mm. of uh, you know obstacle kind uh -huh. of relays and so that their children could innovate and play mm. and that was interesting mm. because you know these days now children are just glued to the TV yeah, right? That's true. And Very few uh, you actually do know yeah. the, the have play with yeah. us to speak and of. also I, I would say the toys that you mm. get now right and uh, because children don't experience the real speed yes. what what they, they they kind of experience mm. speed through seeing things that mm. are moving yeah. you know so I think it was important mm. uh, you know so that uh, you know that parents also mm. think that they should be outdoor and things like mm. that well, it seems uh, Saturday was very fruitful when it comes to uh, the, the younger the younger yeah. generation which because is a, yeah a deal but but doc my, my question is this we have I, I think it's it's not uh, it's not it's not uh, uncommon for us to meet someone who before having a family was lived a very active lifestyle you know very active in the sense that they, they they would run they would go to the gym they took care of themselves but this has always been I think a case for quite a number of women once they they, they marry especially they give they, they have a child or children 
they think they, there's no more time to exercise. They think running around the house with your child is enough. Yeah. And and that is that makes a lifestyle. What can you well our viewers are some of them are part of that, yeah. who just completely let go saying that I have enough exercise by cleaning the house, doing mm. the laundry, taking care of my, my kids. How would you answer that? Well, hmm. uh, well, moderate hmm. ac activity hmm. is important, hmm. right? So it could be, I mean, I mean, I mean, we always think of running and walking hmm. and things like that. But there are other things also, right? Hmm. I mean, I mean, I, I guess like it's for different uh, hmm. types of uh, walks of life. Hmm. The, the kind of moderate physical hmm. activity would, would be different, hmm. right? But even if you're watering, you know, hmm. you're watering the plants, instead of, you know, you know, holding the Hold horse and things like that, hmm. if you actually you know make an effort to sort of carry things the pale. you know that mm. even that that itself mm. can be mm. right but then of course regular exercise is important mm. and i think it's 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 very difficult mm. sometimes for us to find time even for me i find mm. it very difficult mm. to find time mm. but then it's a must it may be like uh, you know like you may uh, sort of get down uh, somewhere where you could park and mm. then you could uh, you know walk mm. or you could uh, climb a flight of uh, stairs which mm. uh, you would otherwise take the lift so like that there are so many ways mm. that you would try to make an effort mm. to actually not be in one place yeah. and I think a lot of people do jobs which are just seated it's you know they're seated in one place yeah, so I, I think I, it's important. Yes. I remember a story that my, my grandmother mm. shared my grandmother died when she was 99 and, mm. and she, she stood straight and all this stuff and we were thinking why she was so strong and she said because mm. we would walk mm. We didn't have the luxury of a taxi or mm. a three wheel mm. or or a train. We would mm. you would normally walk. Mm. You would, and and it's it's quite a so mm. you're you're used to that activity, um, doctor. There's a, there's a special uh, term that you also um, presented at the health fest called super eight. If yes, of course, and eight. it and mm. actually the super eight mm. is a group of eight health targets mm. that we have branded as mm. the super eight. Mm. And uh, this was actually launched mm. by His Excellency, oh. the President, mm. who came that day for this event. Mm. And uh, why are we focusing on eight mm. targets mm. and not just talking of uh, exercise mm. alone or mm. salt reduction mm. or uh, trans fat mm. reduction or eating more vegetables? Mm. Uh, you know, I know lots of doctors and you know like you would see a mm. lot of news articles mm. appearing where each of these are spoken of individually mm. and yet you would see uh, like it tends I say, to be confusing yeah, yeah and maybe a 45 year old mm. who has never smoked uh, you know, may experience his first heart attack. Or so, lung cancer. Yes, I mean, hmm. there, there are so many events hmm. like that. So, but what is important is to understand hmm. the effect of a group of these hmm. targets, right? So that's what we want people to remember. Hmm. And uh, that needs to be sort of get into the system, hmm. you know, as much as uh, hmm. I, 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 I'm sure hmm. you must be knowing about um, the 5S concept of hmm. quality. Hmm. Just as much as 5S for quality, hmm. we would want to see the Super 8 so we as the health the target. Yeah. So there is a love. So if you get, if you get to see this poster, uh, you might want to take a pause for a while and check it out. Now, um, just just uh, just looking at it, uh, number one is maintain your your body mass index. A lot of people are concerned about their weight and not their BMI. Um, how important? What is the difference with the weight and the BMI? Well, it's actually hmm. the weight according to your height, hmm. right? So there's a formula to calculate it. This right? people you would. Yeah. This is where I start to lie because it involves height. Yes, doctor. <laughs> How does it work? Okay. Well, so it's it's actually hmm. your weight hmm. in kilograms okay. divided by okay. your hmm. height in meters okay. squared, right? Okay. So it's I mean the calculation. There are there are ways okay. of calculating.